All right, today I have a train rooftop package unit. I believe it's a 25 ton in denomination. I'll verify that. Um, but I found it not running. They said it wasn't cooling, just blowing warm air. Uh, had to go down and get some tools, but the compressors weren't running, so I just powered it off. So let's get into this thing. See what's up with it. All right, let's power back up and see what, what works, what doesn't work. We've got 480 volts, one to two, 482, one to three. And 484, 2 to 3. So high is good. Let's see what they got over here. There was that. Twenty six volts. We are still open on fan obviously we're going to be open on cooling the thermostat was set to cool but it's probably in timeout mode so yeah we're still open so we'll wait for this to kick on like i said i heard the blower running before but no compressors um, this unit does have a known bad circuit too i don't know if you can see or not but condenser coils are shot. This unit, it needs coils, but they're demoing the building and they're going to end up replacing this air conditioner. Um, so they're not going to spend the money on replacing the condenser coil, but circuit one should still be working. Let me figure out what's up with it. All right, circuit one just fired up. Compressors are on. No condenser fans. And these are the fan contactors. So in looking around, I found this condenser motor, this harness, looks like it's barely in there, and the other side, it's plugged up in there, so I cannot get up in here. I'm going to have to go in through the top and see if I can uh, push that back in, but that looks like it's been, it's coming out. Alright, let's see if we can get up there. Alright, got the top off here. And better access to this plug. It is it's definitely loose. Why? This is getting frustrating here. Alright, so I 
kind of straightened out that pen as much as I could. Still can't push it out with my hand. So I did the right thing. And I went and got some channel locks. And I'm going to persuade it to go into that hole. It's, uh, I'm tired of messing around with this thing. See why it's not going. All right, I seem to have gotten it in there better. Uh, still not 100%, but I think it's making a better connection. It ain't gonna go anymore because uh, it's gonna be broken if I keep pushing it. All right, so I put three new fuses on. Power's still off. We're gonna ohm out. These motors, 24, 25, 25, the other motors, 24.9, 1 and 3 is 25, and 25, so they all seem to be equal. the ground yet. Uh, nothing. So nothing grounded. Uh, new fuse is in. Let's start a switch. See what happens here. So. We're going to wait for the thermostat to time out again. We are still, yeah, we're open. <clears throat> Alright, so this should be exciting. Hopefully, that thing don't blow up. But it's, it's in there better than it was. I'm getting a reading. It tells me that it uh, should be making connection in there. I just love the way they run these wires here. It's hanging out. This is a train. See those stains on the condenser coils? These micro channel coils, in my opinion, don't belong in air conditioners. These, uh, they even had these coated. And this unit's been trouble from day one. And they put it in, uh, I think it was circuit two. It had no gas in it. Train had to come out and do a a warranty call on it and pulled vacuum pressurized could not find any leaks anywhere well I guess we're you know condenser coils are leaking so that's uh here's their sign unit is fully charged with R410A refrigerant lies all right we just started up look at that Two fan motors. Alright, got some heat coming back. Alright, let's let it uh, heat here for a minute. Give it a minute of runtime. those things were running that was it was weird but I always expect weird stuff in this trade nothing surprises me all right so there's our uh, fan circuit amps three this is both combined tried to single phase and over amp them. Took out these fuses. Uh, no 
don't know how long it's been down. They don't use this building really. It's just waiting for renovation. So get some gauges and throw them on there and see what our pressures look like. Subcooling, not good. Superheat, we got uh, suction temp 81, and our saturation temp is uh, 46. I think we're gonna have to add some refrigerant to this one. No, we're not gonna look for a leak because we see those coils, and this unit's on its way out. But we're gonna get them some cooling while they're starting renovation in there. Added some gas to it. The pressures have risen 150 or 160 over 365, maybe 368. We got 110 on saturated condenser. Uh, liquid line temps 101, so we're uh, nine degrees there. Subcooling, which is better. 65 on my suction temperature, saturated roughly 56, so we're 9 degrees super heat there. So I think we're gonna leave it there. It's uh, obviously cooling better than it was when I got here, and it's operational. So, all right, thanks. So, this was a 25 ton train package unit, not cooling, found the condenser, fan motor fuses were blown, two of them were, found that harness loose on the condenser fan motor, put that back in, new fuses, um, contactors appeared to be fine, there was nothing shorted, other than I think that plug just came out and gave it a single phase over amped them. But, uh, it's up and running now, and like I said, this unit's probably going to be replaced probably in the next couple months when they get done with renovation here. So. Alright, thanks for watching, and uh, like, subscribe, comment, hello, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Alright, see you. Alright, so uh, we're in good shape here. It's running back pretty good. The compressors are running, and said circuit 2 is dead. So, the fan's running. We're in good shape. Alright, thanks for watching.